In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to create this layout for your Instagram posts using masks in Adobe Photoshop. Let's begin. So I have these three photos opened in Photoshop and we're gonna put them together for an Instagram post. So first, let's head over to File and New. We're gonna give this document a name, then we're gonna make it the following size. 1080 by 1350 pixels, which is the new resolution for Instagram posts. Then make sure the color profile is sRGB and hit create. Then go to each photo and unlock the background layer and press command or control plus C to copy the layer and switch to the Instagram post file and paste it using command or control plus V. Do that for each photo until you have all three photos in the file. Next, you wanna to go to view, then guides and choose new guide layout. Uncheck the column section and enable rows and then choose three rows with the gutter set to zero. Then click on OK. Now you want to pick the rectangular marquee tool to make a selection. Start from the top left and make a selection for the upper section of the photo. Then in the layers panel, you want to go and choose the photo you want to place in that section and click this mask icon at the bottom. Now that photo is going to be visible only within that selection we've made. We're going to repeat this process for the next two areas. So make a selection for the center part Choose the corresponding layer and then click the mask tool. And same for the bottom part. Make a selection within the guides, select the layer, and then click on the mask icon. Next, we need to unlink the mask from the photo by clicking the chain icon in the layers panel. When the mask is unlinked, you can move the photo around inside the mask freely without changing the mask itself. If you keep them linked, the photo and the mask move together, so the borders of the mask shift along with the image. Remember that in a mask, the white areas show the visible parts of the photo, while the black areas those parts that are hidden. Now we're going to press Command or Control plus T to transform the first photo at the top. We're going to adjust it so it fits within the frame and then move to the next layer. Use Command or Control plus T again to resize and move it accordingly. And same goes for the last photo. And that's pretty much it. If you want to show or hide the guides, the shortcut for that is Command or Control plus semicolon. Then to save the file, simply go to File, Save As, and choose a location. Then save it as JPEG and make sure this slider is set to a higher value for better quality. If this video helped you, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Visit the Creative Society website for more design resources and music. If you want to continue learning, check out this other video on the screen. Thank you and see you next time. This is Creative Society.